Range fans, Reloaders Network and Rimfire Central, and Revolver Fanatics, I can't forget about you. Do I see light at the end of this tunnel? I believe it is. RWS 50. Coming up next at the 50-yard line. Hard hitter. Welcome, range fans. Mr. Revolver Guy here with dayatherange.com. All right, range fans, I'm back on the 50 yard line with the RWS R50 ammunition, and I've got three rifles out today. And by the way, yes, for the revolver fanatics out there, I believe I see light at the end of the tunnel. This is the last ammunition I have to test. I think there might be one additional video where I will take pieces of the best shots from each brand of ammunition, make sure I understand how it shot or how accuracy was, um, and then piece those videos together in a little bit of a collage to show you what ammunition shot best in what rifle. So we're gonna test RWS R50 today. I got a little bit of a different setup down range. We're gonna fire 20 targets or we're gonna fire 20 rounds on four different targets, then five rounds on the crybaby maker, that one incher. And I've got the three rifles out here. We're starting with the Christensen Arms first, then we're gonna move over to the CZ 455 with the Walther barrel, and then last but not least, least that venomous Lithgow LA-101. That's right, I've got all three out. So you might want to go get your favorite snack and a good cold pop or good cold water, whatever is your favorite drink of choice, have a seat, put this up on the big screen, and let's see what RWS R50 turns out like. I tell you what, I've got high hopes, and um, I hope I'm not let down. Tell you what, I get on camera, and good gracious alive, my group seemed to fall apart. But let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Uh, RWS R50, bottom left green target. Those green dots are two inches. The one in the center that we'll come back to and put five rounds on is one inch. Let's see. Oh, shot low. Starting to creep up. Man, the Christensen doesn't like this at all. Let's move on to the next target. Well, you know what? That's right, folks. Yep. Now see me make a scope adjustment. We're gonna go with that. All right. Where did that round go? Man, this thing is shooting something wild. Or maybe it's not.
Ah, ha, ha. I would screw it up. All right. Let's see here. All right, we're going to go five rounds on the third target to the right. Oh, those last two rounds, what is it with that? I've got three in one hole. I mean, literally one hole and then two outside of that group. Not sure what's going on with that. All right, last five rounds, and then we're going to load five rounds for the one incher. All right, let's adjust the bag. Let's make this a tight group. Come on, Christensen. Nope, way off. shot. Not too bad with the RWS and the old Christensen. Let's take out five more. And um, now we're going for the one incher down range. All right, folks, here we go. One incher, dead center. Let's get this right. Dang it. I don't know. Not sure what's going on here. Well, there you have it. You're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you the sizing of the groups. I don't think the Christensen cared too much for the RWSR50. By the way, folks, I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out dayattherange.com and the 22 challenge call out, now is the time to do it. I actually got a submission from a nine-year-old. And uh, what is it? LM number nine. And man, oh man, did she do quite well with a 1022 from a um, kneeling position. The bipod looked to seem to be a little high. So she was actually on a bipod with both knees on a bench. I would have to imagine fairly unstable. When you think about that position itself, kneeling is pretty hard to master. And to see what she did with the 1022, you guys need to get over there and check it out. I thought that was uh, pretty exciting. Next up, the CZ 452 coming up next. All right, folks, I've got the CZ 452 with my cheek riser that I'm pretty fond of on the bench with me. And 
I've got 25 rounds loaded up in the CZ455 varmint with Lothar Walter barrel and Harrell tuner on it. I have not tuned it for the RWS50. Some say that's, you know, totally unfair. But uh, if I find out which one shoots the best, I plan to shoot this thing a lot, get it tuned to that specific ammo. I hope it's not RWS R50 because man, oh man, is it expensive. But anyways, we're going to go the same route as we did with the Christensen Arms. I hope you're only halfway through with your cold beverage at this point. All right, here we go. Not too bad, definitely a tighter group than the Christensen in the first go around. We're gonna put the old 10 round magazine in here. See how well it does. Gonna go five rounds on the second target to the right. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Nice tight group, let's move it over. Now we're going with three rounds or five rounds on the third target to the right. I'll tell you what, the closer I get, the more I'm screwing it up because I'm getting out of this rabbit hole and I think um, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because the next revolver video coming up of that big old Smith & Wesson 500 i uh, been around since 2003. I've got some stiff loads, 350 grain loaded up for it. We're going to see how I handle it. At uh, Maybe we'll do 10 yards, 20 yards, and then head over to the 50-yard rifle range and see if I can keep them all five shots on a pie plate from the Smith & Wesson 500. So you're going to want to stay tuned. All right, let's see here. Five shots. I'm getting the shakes from that group. Woo! All right, that's it. I'm going home. I'm cutting this video short. No more. No. Uh, good gracious alive. I'm digging that group. Might be the smallest group I've shot down in this rabbit hole. Well, we've got five more loaded up for the last target. This barrel's starting to warm up to this RWSR50. Had no idea it would like it. And we're going to shoot. It doesn't count until you shoot on that one incher.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Uh-oh. I might need some donations just to keep shooting this RWSR50. This stuff will send you to the poorhouse. It's not as expensive as Ely 10X or uh, Lapua Exact, but it's, it's still up there. Whoo, I'm digging it. Let's see what we can do on this one inch. Man, I got my heart rate going through the roof. All right, here we go. Then I fall apart. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, my luck. I guess one could say my luck and also my skill. Man, when it counts, I'm choking. Woo! Cannot believe this, but I tell you what, this CZ455 turned in some awesome groups today with the RWSR50. But folks, we're just about there. Go fill up on your cold beverage of choice and your snack of choice, and let's get down to the Lithgo LA101. I see light at the end of this tunnel. Last box down the rabbit hole. Be right back. All right, Range fans, I got the old Lithgo LA-101 out on the bench with me today. This is it. I'm shooting my way out of the rabbit hole. I can see the door right there. The door to this rabbit hole. I'm coming out of this rabbit hole, gonna get back to a few revolvers and also got a few special rifles uh, that others uh, have loaned me with suppressor, no, they didn't loan me the suppressor, that would be illegal, but they're gonna join me out on the range with some new suppressors that they um, have just recently acquired, and we're gonna do some suppressor shooting with um, 224 Valkyrie and see how that goes. But until then, we're here with the Lithgo LA-101. I've got 10 rounds loaded up in this bad boy. Let's get after it. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Man, I tell you, I really love this. I know it's a hunting scope, but it's a Redfield owned by Leupold and uh, they've discontinued them. Man, the glass is just spectacular. They may have discontinued them because uh, taking funds away from the original brand, who knows? I don't know. Speculating, that's how fake news gets out. I have no idea, folks. But uh, what I do know is we're going to put some RWS R50 on target downrange out of Lithgo LA-101. Let's see here. Five shots on the first target. And we're moving on to the second target. Bump my bag over. Yep, 10 round magazine.
I knew that was going to be off because it was a little hard to rack. I think I may have shaved the bullet. So far, I still think that CZ455 is the best of the bunch with the RWSR50. All right, let's go for it's the third target to the right there. Casing was hot. Three. Four. Five. Not too bad, but still nowhere near close to that uh, CZ455. That thing was a monster with this ammunition. And last target. Bump the bag over. Not too bad. I think that flyer was me. Now I got to really buckle down. Relax the old neck. I might need to get myself another cheek riser like I have on the 455 for the Lithgo. And that might be what made the difference on the 455. I just, man, I just lay on the thing. Uh, no tension at all in the neck, but yeah, excuses, I know. Buckle down. Last five rounds of the day. Hopefully your cold beverage and your snack has gotten you through this video. Last five rounds of down in the rabbit hole unless I get another request. All right, let's see if we can make them the best. All right, not too bad. The old Lithgow warmed up there at the end for the last five rounds. Well, there you have it. I've shot my way out of the rabbit hole. Some of you want me to keep going with the 22 uh, rabbit hole, but I've got to get out of this thing. I've been with this 22 now for the last few months. I've got to get out of this rabbit hole and get back to some revolver and rifle shooting um, or high caliber rifle shooting. I tell you what. 
I really thank you guys for the support since I've been down in this rabbit hole. I've had quite a few donations to shoot different brands of ammo. You saw here recently the Remington Subsonic. Didn't do too well. That person wanted to see Subsonic and hear if there was much of a difference from the suppressor with the Christensen Arms. I've done some other ammunition donations as well. I think it was Fiocchi 320, I believe there was a donation for that. We've done that as well also. Now, I'm going to go back and um, look through all the videos and see which rifle shot the best with what ammunition. Maybe put a little collage together. That might take me a few weeks to get to. But I tell you what, it's been really fun. I've been reading all the comments while I've been down in the rabbit hole. Not much to do when you're down in the rabbit hole. I've been reading all the comments, trying to reply to as many, if not all, that I possibly can. But I really appreciate you all and the support you've shown. Yeah, I'll continue to shoot some 22, but uh, man, I'm dying for some big boomers. And uh, that's revolvers and the 500 Magnum coming up next. Again, you can go over to dayattherange.com and join the 22 challenge. We have folks from Australia. We have folks from Canada that has joined up. Man, we even hear as of late, LM number nine, nine-year-old, nine-year-old young lady with a 1022 and one of the most difficult positions I've seen shot and did really well. My hat's off to you, ma'am, for doing so well. There you have it. Out of this rabbit hole. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.